here we go again. Okay? Like, all right, let me just, I'm going to break it down and y'all can gonna, y'all gonna tell me how y'all feel. So the WHO, the director of WHO, has said it and put it on the news that there has, there's a, um, declares that the monkey pox outbreak um, is now a public health emergency of international concern. So currently, the monkeypox is basically in the Congo, in Africa, right? And from what I heard from like years ago, it started off, it was like a sexual thing, but now they're saying it's by just touch, you can get it. And it's a different strand. So the who, we know, do y'all remember what the who is and how that whole thing came about? I hope y'all do, because it's coming again. And this time, y'all know what's in November, right? Okay, I, I just want y'all to just pay attention because, you know, there's an algorithm and, you know, got to speak in code. But y'all know what's in November, right? And what happened in 2020? I'm just saying. I want y'all to really be up to speed of what's going on, y'all. So it's kind of crazy where they're saying that they're trying, the WHO is trying to watch this right now, trying to see... Currently, it started in Africa, just like uh, the other pandemic. It started in China, right? And then, so lo and behold, and this is the second time where they had make an announcement like this. Um, yeah, this is definitely a concern. Like I said, I think this all has to do with um, what's going on in November. However, um, I need you guys to pay attention because that means this, there's a chance that a uh, pandemic part two could just happen. Like we, my kids just started school today. And like, now it's like, really now this, we got war. I mean, now this, like, I'm going to show you guys what's, what they're saying about this. So y'all going to be disgusted. I'm so sorry. I had to show this video. So that's what the monkey pox looks like. Ugh. So, so this is the Africa CDC. This was told as of yesterday. The CDC declares monkeypox a public health emergency. So this was what made the WHO to declare it an international uh, scare because now they're feeling that if, just like the, in 2020, where it was started in China and it went into the United States, they have a, they're saying that it's a scare where they want us to be advised that Right now it's in Africa and they're trying to see what they're going to do, try to see if they can keep it at bay. But, right, like I said, right now it's in Africa, it's in the Congo, but they're, they're saying that this is, is very concerning and that, and I'm going to show you guys the video of the actual guy from who, and I want you guys to hear him himself of what he's saying about it. But I, it's just, I, I find this very um, concerning and I'm going to um, let you guys know why, because I feel like it's kind of funny how they know this stuff right before. And I'm not saying that people are not getting sick. I'm not saying this stuff is not actually happening because obviously, look, this guy, you know. But I am saying that the, the, we are in a wicked nation. And I feel like they will do whatever it takes to stop things from, um, from happening. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say. And I do feel like... Not only we seconds from war, um, you know, you see about the war in Israel and now this. So it was either a war that can stop just anything happening in November. So now this could push back the whole, you know, just being able to even vote. So I hope you guys pay attention to what's going on here. And I want to read you something that also makes just makes me question everything because there's in other countries, they having vaccines cards made that's going to be going, coming out in September in certain countries. Look, check this out. All right, y'all. You know me. I always got to move myself over. So a European, a European vaccination card will be piloted in five countries. So the five countries will be, uh, so it's going to be Lativa, Greece, Belgium, Germany, and Portugal. So it's going to start in September. They're going to be trying it out. And the reason why they're doing this is they're saying despite decades of awareness of diseases and transmitted animals to humans, like they're saying with this whole monkeypox thing, they're saying um, to, they want to continue to pose a significant, because it's a, there is a significant threat to global health in the face of unprecedented COVID-19 crisis or global lack of preparedness, 
they want to start this. Um, so they want to start this whole card thing. And I want to show you guys how this card thing, how this card looks. All right. So you can see here, this is how the card looks. It's the European vaccination card. One key tool that will introduce the European vaccination scheduled to launch on September, 2024. Um, it will be um, piloted, like I said, in those um, five countries. The, um, the card aims to empower individuals by consolidating all their vaccination data in one easily accessible location. It will be available in various formats, including printed, printed cards, mail copies, and digital versions for smartphones. So this will help them comply. And if they want to travel instead of having a, because remember before in 2020, they were doing the cards, like in order for them to know that you were vaccinated, you had to show a card that the doctor signed. Now it's being piloted as of September, which is so weird because now they're saying that this whole monkeypox thing is spreading, right? Now they're saying they're going to have a vaccination card where you can have your, I, I guess your ID stating, um, and they, they can scan when you, the last time you had vaccinated, last time you've been vaccinated and everything. The problem I have with this, and I don't know how you guys feel is this is so close to the book of revelations. You can neither buy nor sell because in, and I'm not saying that this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying, but I do feel like this is the beast technology where just as in 2020, you could not go to a certain, if you wanted to go to a basketball game, football game, restaurants, you had to have proof that you had a vaccination. And that's the ones when they had the, um, the paper copy and you had to prove that you was, you was, um, vaccinated. And this also had to be, you know, in certain countries as well, you know, traveling as well. So this is getting close. And like I said, I just feel like this is the market to be technology with adding, just building us up until where it's going to be. You can either buy nor sell unless you have the mark. And it's bringing us to a point where this whole pandemic stuff ain't going to work. And it's going to be like, OK, now we're going to take all this. this. You're going to have that because I, if you heard my dream. Everything was on one card. I just feel like it's going to, we are about to bark and bark on a new era. And I felt it right after the first pandemic. I was like, things are not going to be the same. And I knew that this wasn't going to be the, I knew that the last pandemic wasn't going to be the last pandemic. Um, so it wasn't going to be the last time it happened. So I want you guys to just stay prayed up because we are definitely embarking on, I'm going to show you guys the video of the guy, the director of the who explaining what's going on as of today he made an announcement where we should be concerned um the same way they did when the first pandemic happened so i want you guys to just pay attention be aware and just just pray be stay prayed up there's a chance it may just get blown off because this is not the first time that they spoke about um monkey pox and then you know it stayed in africa and they dealt with it and it went away and now it's back but it's a different strand and now they're saying now the who is saying you know, because people travel to Africa, people travel back and forth. So now it's a concern of whether it's going to spread and can it get spread to the United States? Because once it gets spread, we all know you take an airplane, that's all it takes. They don't clean these air these airplanes. Like it's like they take like less than five minutes and they and they they feel like the, the airplane's clean. No, it needs way more than that. You know that? You know, so I want to know what you guys think, cause I feel like we're definitely embarking on a different time. Do I believe this is going to happen? I'm not, I'm not certain, but it's definitely in the Bible. You know, there's going to be pestilences. This is, this is pestilences. This is like what's going to happen. But the question is, is this part of what's to, you know, just put a halt for November? That's my question. I'm going to show you guys this, this video quickly. Today, the emergency committee met and advised me that in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. The detection and rapid spread of a new clade of MPOX in Eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring countries that had not previously reported MPOX, and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. In addition to other outbreaks of other clades of MPOX in other parts of Africa, it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential 
to stop this out.